What's up, Sim Racers? This is Larry TJR Sim here. So I wanted to give a 2024 Sim Room update. There has been some changes uh, to cool me down at least. Still a fan. Finally, <laughs> spent some money on uh, getting a ceiling fan. Some changes with the rig that are new here. If you've seen the other Sim Room updates, you probably pretty much know everything about here. So I'll briefly go over it. But uh, yep, same 4K monitor, PS5, Xbox Series X. New gaming chair, I guess. Uh, that reviewed up on the side already. Let's check that review out. Some LEDs underneath the rig. Uh, new PC. That's actually the big update there. This PC is from NZXT. Bought that. It's a 4090 uh, GPU with the, I can't remember the model number, but the latest uh, CPU out there so yeah digging it it is super super fast uh, loving it I can actually run <laughs> uh, my uh, HMD there uh, my reverb uh, normal graphics with the hundred percent graphics and uh, and high on everything or ultra on everything and it doesn't hiccup still running 90 FPS in the monitor so yeah 4090 actually makes VR playable so Happy about that. I skipped the last one, 30 series, because it didn't do a lot for VR, but this 4090 was killer. And uh, also, computer works great. Now I can run videos as far as editing videos and uh, recording on screen stuff with this computer while I'm playing games, talking, and all that stuff, right? So, uh, without it having problems. So, that was part of the delay of, of doing a lot of videos, is because I was having so many PC problems. I do them. So I had to lay off for a little while until I got some some coin to get a new PC. And then with that, uh, I got a new Logitech uh, G560 2.1 surround. They've been around for a while. They got, of course, their own LEDs there as well. Both of those, even even on the back side. Then it's got a nice subwoofer down there, 6.5 inch, I think, something like that. Sub down there. My daughter upstairs says it's quite loud. <laughs> when I'm playing games, so uh, LED lamp back there as well. I like these lamps and the LEDs because I can hook them all up with the software on my phone and turn them all off, on and off with Wi-Fi. Pretty sweet, so loving that. Okay, so rest of the stuff, of course, is the triple monitors as you knew before. <clears throat> the new bezel kits, ASUS bezel kits with the adapters for the uh, bezel-free kits. That is. Uh, with adapters to work for 32 inch. Uh, some new Sparco gloves, some other ones were falling apart. Still running. I don't know if y'all remember these. Some experience, the AccuForce wheel, it's still running really strong. I get a lot of great feedback, but I do want to upgrade it to something a little bit more mainstream now. Looking at the Sim Magic stuff and uh, Asetech and uh, really those only, and of course, Semi Cube. The Semi Cube is a little long in the tooth. In my opinion, as far as having uh, less connectivity like SimiCube or like uh, SimMagic has and Asetic. So anyway, uh, I'll do that sometime in 2024, hopefully. But yeah, the the, the AccuForce is working great. Just want to see if I, with all the hypes about getting a newer uh, direct drive wheels in. Plus, I can give you my opinion on, on the channel. Same custom button boxes that I designed and got machined out for me to hold my DSD button boxes. Cube Racing, BNG, BNG uh, Quick Disconnect, which this has actually worked great on any of those wheels that I'm talking about uh, as far as adapters go. Uh, oh, AC, got some AC fans right there. I call it my AC, but it's not really AC, right? But it's a fan on both sides, help direct air to me, and they look kinda, kinda cool, I guess. And uh, so yeah, they help out. Uh, as far as the rig itself goes, of course, Husenfeld pedals, love them, still running strong. What else is attached to the rig? Of course, Husenfeld handbrake. I do want to try out the Sim Magic one with the uh, with the hydraulics on it. This is new to the rig, uh, Sim Magic Q1 shifter. Reviews already up. I love it. Absolutely my favorite shifter ever. Uh, so, for sequential, got to have your cup holder. Biggest improvement here for the rig is the D box. So, yeah, this is a bad boy here. So, all four of them. Nothing like putting independent suspension on your sim rig, right? And rolling you around and uh, 
feeling like you're in a real car. It's just amazing. I love it. It's got its own haptic system built in as well. So I dished all, all the uh, butt kickers and all the amps. So actually, I narrowed it down to one amp. But man, I don't miss the days where I had four amps and <laughs> six butt kickers and wires everywhere. And what a pain to keep all that tidy. So yeah, this is a lot cleaner. So anyway. Uh, yeah, yep, butt kicker, uh, some different sliders, which you can see, track racer sells these as well. I just got them off uh, Amazon, but so I can adjust the seat for myself or anybody else as far as moving it forward. Uh, and yeah, I guess that's it there. That's about it. Keeping this nice, short, and sweet. Uh, I'll throw some B roll up in here so you can see it with the lights lit up with it in the dark. Looks kind of cool. Makes it nice and uh, fun environment to play in especially at night. So, all right, well, hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it inspired you. Then this video inspired you to go do it yourself as well. And uh, yeah, until next time, I'll see you on the track. Leave some comments below. I'm out.